Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to M -m 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 Minecraft. So, welcome to Minecraft, aka block game, whatever you want to call it that floats your boat, which is water, by the way. Um, that that water right there, that floats your boat. Uh, don't try to float in lava. It won't work. Anyways, welcome to Minecraft. This is a really decent spawn. You've never played Minecraft before, right? So, I'm gonna tell you how to survive. You just spawned in, it's your first day, the sun's coming up, all is bright, all is well. For now. You wanna run over, get yourself some wood, really, really quickly. It's the first thing you wanna do, because you wanna have two things. No. Three things by the time that sun ends on the very first day. You want to have a bed. You want to have at least a 3x3 three three block around you. And you want to have no floating trees. I'm just kidding. But you would like to have at least one weapon to protect yourself with. And that would have to be a sword. Okay, so you collected your wood. All of the wood you did not leave floating trees the leaves will decompose if you remove all of the wood from the tree some of the trees are bigger trees like this one that you see over here those have multiple strands of logs they're harder to break down but in the end you end up with more wood so those are preferred but we had a small tree right here so that's what we went with now you want to go ahead and hit e on your keyboard if you are using java edition like me you don't need that sapling you can drop it you can plant it you can do whatever you want to take these logs put them into this crafting square right here and collect your planks. Now you want to take your planks and place one of each in each of those squares by simply right clicking and then collect that crafting table right there out of that crafted section. Now you want to right click on the ground to place your crafting table and then right click again on the crafting table to open it and then you want to place one plank, one plank, right on top of each other, vertical like that. It can be at any location, as long as they are vertical. And then collect these sticks out of here, and place vertical like that, and then horizontal across the top. And there you have your pickaxe, your very first tool, and the most important tool that you will need at the moment. Now, you want to find yourself some stone whether it's digging down into the ground or finding some exposed stone like this this is very simple you want to collect yourself three pieces of this stone right and then you're going to come back to your crafting table wherever you placed it down and do the same thing that you just did for that wooden pickaxe vertical like that and then horizontal like that then you want to walk over to this water over here just very calmly very gently and well you know this is good enough you're gonna quick click the Q button while holding that uh, wooden pickaxe in your hand and ditch it because you no longer need it wooden tools are useless pretty much see this that's a cave you don't need a cave at the moment well unless you can't find stone in which case uh, have fun what you want to do with this stone pickaxe we got rid of the wooden one remember that you want to collect one two three four five more pieces of cobblestone run back over here open that up make some more sticks collect those and if you shift and right click even when you're holding something it will collect all of them that you immediately put in there be careful with that because it can be dangerous now you're going to want to place three cobblestone just like that and two sticks vertical once again just like that and now you have a stone axe then you want to place one at the very bottom there and then two right above it and now you have a sword and now you can use that axe to break your crafting table so that you can run and what you're going to need to run to is any sheep you can find preferably white sheep or three sheep of the same color see right over here we've got some white sheep they're all three the same color that's what you're looking for you're going to left click and chase them down until they are no longer alive you are also using the sword to do this i don't think i mentioned that but yeah you're gonna off three of these sheep and pro tip do not spam click i am very guilty of this i do it all the time 
especially when fighting hostile mob. So now you have three of this precious little wool right here. You're going to place down your crafting table once again. Three planks and three wool. And now you have that magical little bed. And if you are not in a spot where you want to build your base, you do not have to place it yet. But just for convenience, you would want to have your starting base near spawn until you are geared up enough to protect yourself farther away. Also, I am sprinting right now. If you double tap the W key, you will start sprinting. And if you hold space bar, you will jump while sprinting. Sometimes that moves you faster. Uh, don't have auto jump on because then you will be a disgrace to Minecraft community. Anyways, so we can build pretty much anywhere that's super close just in case you die. Because if you die while you're out exploring or somewhere close to your house or whatever, say you build right there. Spawn's right here. So that's very easy find. You don't have to go running and remember your coordinates and where your house is and everything. So building close to spawn is definitely a really good starting point. So we're just going to go very plain, very simple, and go to the flattest part. Yeah, like right over here will work see the sun's about to go down so we want to place our bed you're gonna right click that and then right click it again it is not night yet so you cannot sleep yet but that will reset your spawn point from over there to over here that is the importance of the bed so if your bread ever breaks and you die that's why you want to build close to spawn so that you're right here and you don't have to go looking for it and remember coordinates and everything but if your bed is not broken that is your spawn point that is now your spawn if you die you will end up at your bed and then you will have to remember where you died and go get your stuff so now what we're going to do is collect some more wood you just want walls around you for the first night and since you have a bed this early on you don't really need it because you can just sleep but just in case you get a little distracted you're going to want those walls around you so that you can sleep without anything getting to you before it gets too dark grab some more of those planks you're just gonna build a little little box around your bed uh, always fill your corners because uh, if you don't screw you I, I mean uh, yeah have fun uh, I'm actually gonna move this bed over real quick just so that it's not right in the middle replace my spawn point break this grass to make it look nice you're gonna want your walls to be at least too high because pretty much all of the mobs except for endermen are too high uh, blocks let's make some doors real quick so place down your crafting table grab your planks and you're gonna put six of them down like so place one just like that and doors are two blocks tall so you will have to have a third block on top of it to completely cover but this will get you enough for the night once you see the stars and the Sun going down and everything then like once the sky is dark enough like this I would say that's a pretty good sign or if the moon is in the sky then just right click on that bed and you will transfer your time from night to day and our hunger bar is very low you don't want it to get that low because you can die of starvation we're gonna get some cows and sprinting does lower your hunger pretty fast so uh if you're trying to conserve on hunger don't sprint right away but as you get more experience you learn how to find food faster and then it's not that big of a deal you've got some food and now all you just need is a way to cook it so what you're gonna want to do is collect you some eight pieces of cobblestone and maybe find some surface coal if you're by mountains or if you have a shallow cave right by you because the caves in this update are wild you're gonna go right around in a circle like that and collect that i guess it wouldn't be a circle it would be a square place that down place some of that coal just well, if you right click, you can pick up half of them. We're going to use half. So you're going to take your meat, put it in the top. It will cook through here and then out will come your cooked steak. Steak does give you the most amount of health points in the game. I'm pretty sure if you place one coal and one stick, you get four torches. So after you collect that steak out of there, you're going to right click and hold to eat it. And you're just going to wait for all of that to cook and then you're going to switch it out with the other food that you have. Very simple, very easy. Another thing, just like how you made the furnace, you want to take some planks and go around in that square as well. And then take that chest out of there and then you can store any unwanted items or anything that you do not need at that moment. So what we're going to focus on is finishing our house. So just go to any random tree. This is a very large one so it'll take a minute to break and i will be right back with you i think i got them all out of this one 
and I fell. Please don't do that. It causes fall damage, and if you fall from a large enough height, it will kill you instantly. But now you see we have 24 logs. That's plenty to finish this house up and have it looking... Well, it won't look that great, but it will protect you from outside mob. Nobody wants a two block high wall, so we're going to make this actually four blocks tall, but the inside will actually be three because that fourth block we are going to turn into a roof like so. And you don't have to fill in this outside piece because this is just a starter base so it does not have to be perfect and just like that we are ending our second day with a nice finished roof with a torch inside so that nothing spawns inside and tries to kill us and now we can go ahead and sleep through our second night and that is how you survive your first couple of days in minecraft if you want me to make this a series i can and we can do like more in-depth stuff with upgrades and everything later. This is how you get started in Minecraft. It is very, very simple, very easy. Uh, you can refer back to this video if you need any more help. I will make another video on how to build a better base with details and depth. There are tons of videos on YouTube, but not everyone can build that extravagantly. And I am one of those people. So I will show you some easy, friendly beginner style tips that will help you get your build looking not like a box. Thank you for watching so so much. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time in the next video. Bye!